How's it going today ladies and gentlemen? Thanks for stopping by and checking out this video. You read the title correctly and we are going to be giving a knife giveaway. Not one, but two different knives. Now these might not be the most top of the line knives on the market or anything like that, but I thought this would be a fun video to get some people uh, you know, involved with to see you know, battle of the survival guys. So we have Bear Grylls version of his ultimate survival knife. This is the first rendition made by Gerber. Everybody knows that this is a, an ultimate survival knife. And then we also have his largest competitor, which would be Les Stroud. And this is his version of the ultimate survival knife made by Camelus. So we're going to run through both these knives, do some quick tests, and see which one that we all think is probably the better knife. So if this is something you're interested in, don't go away. Alright, so like I said, we're going to be giving away not one, but two of these knives. We have the Bear Grylls by Gerber, and then we also have the Camillus Les Stroud version of these Ultimate Survival Knives. Now these knives obviously are not top of the line premium knives, but I thought this would be a fun video to just kind of run through and see which one is better in certain situations. Um, so me and Dan had a chance to go out in the woods and uh, play with these knives a little bit and see which one that we thought was better. Uh, we did some light batoning, some feather sticking, things like that. Didn't beat up on them too hard because we knew we were going to be giving both these knives away. So we'll roll to some of that test footage and we'll see you here in a minute. All right, so we have the battle of the ultimate survival uh, knives here. Les Stroud versus Bear Grylls. Camelus versus Gerber. We're just gonna do some, uh, do some not so heavy batoning just to try it out here, but we do have, we'll start off with a couple small pieces of uh, black walnut. Uh, where's that baton? So, let's start with the Bear Grylls here. Break it down a little smaller right here. Well, not too bad. There's some smaller stuff. Try the the less stroud. Same stuff, black walnut. I don't know about these serrated edges though. Let's see how they how they hold up. And this one's not as thick. Going through pretty good. Not too bad. Show the edge. If it'll focus, eh? No chips or rolls. The serrations look okay.
Look at the Bear grills. I'm actually surprised. <laughs> Being the cheaper steel that they are. Well, we'll try. We'll try some feather sticks and see how good that edge is. All right, so the next step to, uh, you know, surviving would, uh, you know, for fire prep would be some feather sticks. So like I said before that this is, the, they're both the factory edges, did some light batoning, and now we're gonna see how, uh, how well they can do with some feather sticking. I can tell you both had a little bit of fatigue in the hand when, uh, when actually batoning the wood, you could actually feel it in the handle, not much. It didn't absorb very much, but we'll see how the edge does here. This is a hardwood, so it's not quite as easy as using pine or cedar, what a lot of people use. And you do have to apply some pressure, and I am feeling a little bit of fatigue in this handle, because uh, my hand's already kind of getting sore, and you really feel that hot spot right there. But do a couple more here. Yep, I'm done with that one. All right, next up is the Les Stroud uh, Camillus or Camillus version. Uh, now that does have these serrations, which I'm not a huge fan of unless you're cutting rope, but uh, here, we'll give those a try. I don't first. think I've ever tried to feather, whoa. Feather stick with a serrated blade. Handle's not very comfortable. It's kind of narrow for how big it is. And then you still have that hot spot right there just because you have to apply so much pressure. It's hard to judge the angle. I mean, the serrations do better than the rest of the knife, but not very, not very good. Done with that one. All right, so next up, we're just going to talk about some of the the bells and whistles, some of the features that these ultimate survival knives come with to make sure that you're prepared in uh, any situation. <laughs> so we'll start with the Bear Grylls and, well, and, and the Les Stroud knife. They both do come with their fire steels. So we'll, we're gonna try the Bear Grylls knife out here first. One thing I did notice about the Bear Grylls knife is that on this real thick spine, they actually ground down a small part for the ferro rod. So, I thought that was kind of slick, but go ahead and give this a whirl. See how well she sparks. I can hold on to this little guy. So, this one I already did play with just a second ago. Forgot to record. So, I'm going to, I already scraped the coating off. Let's see what she can do here. Definitely throws a good spark. Well, it definitely throws decent sparks for a tiny little ferro rod. It is, it must be some sort of like a, what is it, a mish metal or something like that because it is super soft and throws you know, decent sparks for a little guy, and it does have a good good edge right there. Um, I mean, obviously this tinder pile is not going to go, it's just for demonstration purposes. We already have a fire going, but all in all, not too bad, not too bad. Okay, next up is Les Stroud and all his bells and whistles that he's got on his knife, and he too made sure that in any survival situation you can start a fire by providing another small little ferro rod. And instead of grinding it down on this blade, I don't know if you can see that, but instead of grinding down a flat section on it, he actually put a small groove. As you can see right there, that is intended to, uh, to be used with the ferro rod. So let's see what she can do. Gonna have to peel off some of the coating on this one, but we'll try that spot there. There we go.
All right, so the Les Stroud uh, camless version here, um, you know, about the same. Cheap little small, some sort of mish metal ferro rod. As you can see there, it's throwing sparks. Not quite as good as something off like one of my, you know, half inch ferro rods with a, with a different knife, but it could definitely get the job done. So we're gonna do a tip test. Next up, Les Stroud. Check out that tip there. Now this is kind of dead and a dead rotten standing tree here. I wouldn't do this in the you know any fresh red oak or anything because you're just bound to break the tip, but okay, so we're out here now testing these two survival knives, uh, the Les Stroud and the Bear Grills, and they were kind enough to, uh, just in case if you get lost, think you gotta maybe you just got to really wail on these things to, to get any noise. This one's a little better. Let's try Les Stroud. Maybe this one's uh, really got to get into it. Oh, there she went. A little bit better. Not bad. All right, so there you have it. We have the Bear Grills versus Les Stroud, Gerber vs. Camillus, the ultimate survival knives. And uh, what I didn't show in the video was just some of the bells and whistles on the sheaths themselves. On the Les Stroud, you can see here that they do have a spot for some cordage with a signal mirror that opens up to a small compartment that you can put, you know, some tinder or something like that in. Um, it also does have a uh, knife sharpener. It's a pass-through style that you can just drag through right there, and then it also has a small little mesh compartment for some documentation or whatever you want to put in there. Um, and then on the knife itself, I already ran through a lot of that, but you can see it is partially serrated. There's the handle with the pommel. And then on the sheath, it has the mish metal ferro rod. And then also a small little flashlight with a whistle. I don't drop it, turn that light off with a small little whistle. Put that away. The wind's picking up. And it's got decent retention. Decent little click with the Velcro to hold the knife in there. Pretty similar on the Bear Grills version here by Gerber. You have a small little whistle that's actually connected to the knife there. Decent little whistle. The ferro rod is right there on the bottom, and the little mish metal rod. And then on the knife sheath, if we go ahead and undo this Velcro right here, it actually, undo both Velcros here, deploy it, and it shows the uh, diamond plated sharpener there. So all in all, how do I feel about these knives? Obviously they're not premium knives like some of the knives that I have, uh, but for anybody just getting started or anything like that, throw it in a kit, stuff like that, it's not too bad. Um, you know, I'd, I'd call it a draw between both these knives. Um, I don't like or dislike one more than the other, but you know, I'll leave this up to you guys in the comments below. Feel free to leave a comment down below and tell me which one that you think is the better of the two. Les Stroud versus Bear Grylls. And also, to enter to win, leave a comment, tell me which one that you want, and then all you have to do is click that thumbs up button and be sure to be a subscriber. So hit that subscribe button, it's right there or right there. Give it a big thumbs up and leave me a comment down below on which one you want. We'll let this go for a couple weeks, uh, let enough people see it, and then we'll pick our winners with the random YouTube comment picker. So, this is Matt with Outside the Box. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you on the next one. Thanks. This one's cool. And this, I like this kind of, but I kind of like it because it has a whistle. And this, and I like this the most because it's cool. And it has a loud whistle. See ya. Yeah!